going on guys? Open hand here. So I've been playing a lot of Tekken 8 lately. Really enjoying it. It's actually the first fighting game that I've gotten into. And I was on YouTube today looking at some Tekken videos and I ran into a couple Wave Dash tutorials. And it kind of reminded me of when I was first trying to learn how to Wave Dash, um, how confusing it was. I shit you not, I thought, I thought this was a Wave Dash and I was so confused on why people could do it so much quicker. Um, <laughs> than I could. So I figured I'd make my own video and just kind of break it down and show you guys how to do wave dash on pad, you know, for the complete noobs here. I even turned off the command history just because I find it, it's not really important. It's all about really the motion and knowing what you're doing and why, all right? So I'm gonna go through a couple techniques and, uh, you know, each of them will kind of build on each other and eventually we'll get to wave dash here. So the first thing, if you're a complete noob, what you want to do is get comfortable hitting forward and down. As easy as it seems, right? Very basic. So after you spend about 30 seconds and have this down, the uh, next step is going to be, let me get to my sweet artwork here. Um, so forward down, right? The next step is going to be, you know, I want you to slide your thumb over to around here. Okay, so if you're hitting down and you slide your thumb over, you're going to notice the Kazuya um, will do crouch walk. That's very important. I mean, so you get the diagonal input by just hitting the very right of the bottom button of the D-pad, right? So what you're going to want to do now, now that we have this down, you're going to want to hit forward and you're going to want to hit down and slide through in one motion, slide through. And what that's going to do... Let's cause you to crouch dash. So, back to my artwork real quick. You're literally just sliding through, and it doesn't matter where your thumb goes at this point. Like when you're first starting out, just get this get this down. Just slide right through. Hit down, slide right through. You gotta do it, you know, relatively quick so you can get the crouch dash, right? Now, once you're comfortable with that, you're gonna want to start kind of sliding your thumb up this way, right? So you still slide through, but you're going to want your thumb to be close to, or like on the forward button, right? So it's going to be the same step. You can't see because I don't have a camera or anything, but I'm just basically moving my thumb up now to where, um, to the forward button, right? Now, once you're, comf once you're comfortable with this, you're going to want to, in the middle of this, you're going to want to tap forward. And that will cause the uh, crouch dash to cancel, okay? So you're going to see, because Kaji's head is going to pop right up. See? And that is a wave dash. Literally. That's all it is. So forward, slide through, hit forward. Now when you're sliding through, um, you can, like, when you're sliding up to the, kind of the forward button, you can even, it doesn't matter if you're, like, holding down the forward button when you slide up, because you already you have that diagonal input, so... Um, hitting the forward button once you've slid through doesn't matter, but you're going to want to like, this is I guess where the neutral comes in you're going to want to take your hand off the, the bottom button obviously and then hit forward to get that cancel, right so slide through I'm removing my thumb from the bottom button and then I'm hitting forward right that's all it is and then once you, you know, are comfortable with that, you just kind of string them together Right? And then you can, you know, varying speeds and everything. Once you're more comfortable with it, you'll get quicker and just... But it's really not as hard as people <laughs> make it out to be. So again, forward, slide through, forward, basically. Right? See? Not bad. And then once you, again, you can start going quick. And then to do successive ones, it's literally the same thing. After I hit forward to get that cancel, I slide back through, and then I hit forward again. See? That's all it is. Now, with that said, there's a couple of things you need to know if you're just starting out with wave dashing, right? Um, that's going to help you, you know, in the game. So a crouch dash, which is this, counts as a forward input, right? So this is very important if you're playing Kazuya, obviously, and trying to make somebody up. So that counts as one forward. Crouch dash counts as a forward input. Now why is this important? 
because if you're doing like a uh, mix-up here and you want to do like a demon fist or you want to do like a four or three or a uh, you know forward forward four or whatever um, for you know steel pedal um, it's important because those all those required two forward inputs basically what you you're doing here is when you hit the second forward to cancel right see that so that's, that's that's two forward inputs right there what you can do here is on that second forward you can simultaneously hit like triangle or uh you know circle or x or something to be able to do these kind of attacks right and this is very important if you're like trying to mix somebody up right So again, crouch dash, and then once I cancel the crouch with the other forward, I'm hitting like literally these two buttons at the same time. To cancel the forward and triangle at the same time. And that will give me the, uh, you know, that input there. A lot of people don't know that, so I figured I would uh, <laughs> at least explain that so people know. Um, and that's, that's really all it is. I mean, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully that was uh, about as elementary as it can get I'm explaining it it's not really it's not it's really not as hard as people make it out to be if you have any questions let me know and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one peace